Jacqueline, okay, we're we're on right now, and uh, I'm excited for this because, uh, like I said, I really want to start highlighting the whole movement with Chicano Hollywood is to build underneath our community, and what you're doing is exactly, you know, like exactly what we need to do. You know, I, I keep telling people over and over again that our voice is only going to get louder when there's more of us, and as <laughs> Especially producers, you know, we need more producers. I mean, we could have a thousand writers, a thousand actors, but if we don't have producers, people are doing what you're doing, no one's going to go anywhere. So we need more producers. So, uh, so tell me again, we were talking about 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 Sundance. So we went to Sundance last year. And by the way, I want to go back this year. I think I hit you up already, right? Let's. Uh, yeah, I want to go back too. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go back. So I need now that I know that you're you're there and you're on the ground. In case I want to. I kind of want to do a mixer. Last time I just did an impromptu uh, meetup. I remember we did. Uh, we went to Agavis uh, Coffee Shop, and it was cool because it was like what about twelve of us or 13, 14 of us that showed up, right? Yeah, um, that was fun. We had yeah, that was cool. It's cool to see our family there. So I'm like, okay, maybe there'll be more, you know. So mm -hmm. tell me, right right after Sundance, what happened there? What what inspired you? Yes. Yeah, so after Sundance, I felt really inspired, just like by, by other Latinx creators, creatives. And so I left with the inspiration of like, I want to write something. So mm -hmm. like my short film that I wrote and now I'm producing and wanting and directing it. And um, it focuses on a lot of things, but my main goal was to have a diverse cast that isn't in traditional roles. And I'm really proud of it too, because um, I've written two shorts before this, and the first one was a cultural story. It was about my dad being um, deported. Mm. But I also saw, uh, I think it was like a, uh, I, sorry, I think it was like a contest or something to submit a, a story that's not traditional. And I'm like, you know what, that that's, and that sparked this idea of, I want to write something that's not traditional, that you just see Latino actors on screen, and it has nothing to do with their culture, their background. Yeah, but just just a that. general audience story. And that's, that's fine. That's actually, you know, I'm always down with, with a good Total, especially good total comedy, right? And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm so down with the old school gangster movies. So, but, but, but we are more than that. We are, there's a, there's what I call the traditional Chicano culture. Then there's a Chicano 2.0. And that's where we're evolving. That's where, and, and, and we're not, one's not hating on the other, but there's a growth in there or there's a, I don't want to say growth because it seems like one is better there. It's not that way at all, but it's more like a, just a different flavor. Like, our content doesn't always have to be about churros, chanclas, and cholos. You know, <laughs> it, um, tell me about your story. I mean, what, what's this? What's this? Uh, the the short you wrote it? Yes, I wrote it. Um, so it's called Anywhere. Um, it's a short film. Basically, we follow the main character Rainy through a series of obstacles, which mm -hmm. eventually lead her to exactly where she's supposed to be. Um, but she doesn't know that yet. And I have a lot of, of myself in my film just because like back to like, I wanted to write, but I didn't know what to write. Mm -hmm. And my manager told me, write what you know. Yeah. And I, and I took that with like, you know what? It's true. Like I have the opportunity, the resources to write. I bought final draft and I learned to screenwrite. Um, I was reading a lot of stuff to learn the craft because it's something I haven't done before. I've only acted. And so I wanted to be more than an actor. I wanted to write, direct, and eventually have my own production company. Um, yeah, so we're filming in the Bay, um, partly because two of my cast are there. I thought it would be easier to just go out there. Um, I was supposed to film a feature in October and it got moved to January. I was looking forward to it. And and the reason why I'm like now doing it in December is because I did fall into the maybe I I'm, I will fail you know and 
after my feature got moved, I'm like, well, what am I going to do the rest of the year? And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to film this thing and we're going to do it because I promised myself this year to film something of my own. And then the scaries came in and now they're not here. No. Now I'm ready to actually take action. And um, I did want to tell you like about how you were saying and mentioning that I don't want to sit by a phone and wait for someone to give me a gig. And that's exactly it. Because I was like, you know what, if I can write my own roles that I'm passionate about, that um, tell stories that sometimes we ourselves can tell them better than other people who haven't gone through them. Like we all have some value to bring to the table. Yeah. And How can our community get behind you? Yes. Yeah, so right now our campaign is live um, for Kickstarter. So um, it would be nice if we could get some help there. What are you trying to raise? We're trying to raise 6,000. Cool, cool, cool. Good, It'll good. be a two day shoot. Um, yeah, and a five actor cast. So, yeah. Um, well, that's great. That's great. I think you can do it. You know, go do it. But I, I want to applaud you. One of the things that when you hit me up, but confirm for me is I'm planning in 2025 to do a mastermind on getting people that want to learn how to produce mm -hmm. and take them through two months of training for that. Because I recognize, you know, we can train actors, we could train writers, we could train everybody else be all the line. But if we don't have producers that know what they're doing and they don't have the connections, nothing's going to get done. And I've been, you know, we've been doing this for 17 years now. So I know that we need more producers and more executive producers. So right now you're on the right path. And uh, I applaud you because uh, a lot's going to happen. So, but okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's wind this up because I want people to make sure they see you. Uh, how can they follow you? And uh, what's the Kickstarter called? And then we'll make sure we post it as well. Yes, thank you so much. Um, yeah, so my username on Instagram is Jacqueline X Cabrera. Um, I'll have you tag it down there. Hey. Uh, and then for my film page, it's called Anywhere Film 2024. Awesome. Anywhere Film. Okay, and we'll put that on there as well. So awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for you. And we will, if I don't see you in the, when are you shooting anyway? We're shooting on December 14th and December 15th. Oh man, you're 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 hitting it hard. Okay, Coco. Um, yo, okay. I was thinking I might be up in the bay, but I won't. I'll be I'll be home for that. But uh, for sure, we'll see you at Sundance. Yes, we'll okay. see you at Sundance. And I'll, and I'll hit you up for that. We'll have a mix or something. So, okay. Congrats. We'll post this up, and it'll be up tomorrow as well. So uh, keep it up. If you need anything from me, let me know. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. I appreciate Talk to you. It. All right. Bye bye.